Good evening. The Scottish Conservatives have called for the Justice Secretary to resign. It comes after emails obtained through Freedom of Information by a newspaper revealed an aide to the Justice Secretary suggested Scotland's police watchdog delay publishing a report. The Scottish Government said it was an email exchange between officials and there was no involvement of ministers. Katie Hunter reports. This is a Sunday morning splash Justice Secretary Michael Matheson could do without. The story relates to emails about a damning report written by the police watchdog Perk about the Scottish Police Authority. In November, a senior aide to Mr Matheson, Don McGilvery, emailed the head of Perk, Kate Frame. He appears to suggest delaying the report's publication until the CC issue has moved on a bit. The CC issue refers to this man, Police Scotland's Chief Constable Phil Gormley, who's on special leave while complaints against him are investigated. Kate Frame replied saying she would push ahead with the report's publication, adding, My perception of your remarks is of governmental interference with my independence. She claims that someone in the, the suggestion of interference has led to the Scottish Conservatives to call for the Justice Secretary's resignation. These are absolutely extraordinary revelations. Uh, what they show is that government interference in supposedly independent bodies trying to do an independent job is endemic throughout the system. The Scottish Government says it had no knowledge about the report's contents at the time of the email and points out it wasn't written by the Justice Secretary. Michael Matheson's colleagues have come to his defence. What's absolutely clear from the story in, in the Sunday Post and the statement made by the park is that no incidents of government interference have taken place. Those are the, the park's words rather than mine. Interference or not, the Justice Secretary's opponents are circling. Katie Hunter, Reporting Scotland.